All right, what's up everyone? I'm currently working on my oil lines for my turbos on my LS motor. I'm gonna show you guys a little trick. I'm gonna try to uh, use this oil cooler block off plate. I'm pretty sure every LS oil pan has one of these. And um, all it is is this little plate. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill in here a little passageway for the oil to flow through. And then I'm gonna tap it to fit a AN4T. So follow me and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do it. So here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need your 716 by 20 tap. You're gonna need a 25 by 64 drill bit. You're gonna need your AN4T if it's twin turbo or a single AN4 fitting if it's a single turbo. You're also gonna need something to hold down the oil block off plate. And you're also gonna need an oil block off plate. All right, so this is a quarter inch drill bit. I'm gonna try to just get it straight right on in the middle without touching the sides. And I'm just gonna drill it out slowly. This thing is aluminum, so it should drill out pretty quickly. Okay. Okay, so I've hit the bottom. I'm just gonna go in one more time. I went a little bit off to the side but it's looking good so far. I'm just gonna tap it one more time with the drill just to clear out those burrs. But you don't wanna go any further down than that. There we go. So there we go, there's our hole. It's ta it's drilled out. You don't have to worry about, see how there's still some on the sides there? This is a high pressure feed, so it shouldn't matter how big the hole is. A quarter inch should be fine for this. I'm just gonna go ahead and um, get the tap stuff ready. All right. So, just to double check, I tested it out on this die. An AN4 fitting is a 716 20 thread. So, see how that starts going in? I don't want to force it, but. So, yeah, an AN4 is a 716 by 20 thread. So, I'm going to get my 716 by 20 tap and I'm going to tap this hole out. All right, so one more thing. This hole needs to be 25 64 of an inch in order for us to tap it to that thread size. I'm gonna go ahead and bore this hole out real quick to 25 64s. On a side note, you guys might not all have a 25 64 bit. And if you're looking for one, I came across this Harbor Freight drill bit set. It's really nice, it has tons of sizes, and it's only about $100, and you can use a 20% coupon on it, making it about $80. So it's a really nice set. It's the Cobalt set. They have one set in high speed steel and another one in titanium, I believe. But the Cobalt's definitely gonna last you guys a lot longer than the other ones. If you wanna check that out, I'll leave a link below. And one more side note, right now I'm using the Harbor Freight SAE N metric set. This is a 60 piece set. I think it's about $35. Again, you could use a 20% coupon on it, making it, I don't know, 20 some bucks. It's a really good set so far. Um, I have broke one smaller tap so far, but no big deal. It's cheap enough to where I can just buy another one. I'm gonna go ahead and drill that hole out to tap it. Okay, so that hole is now bored out to 25 64ths, and now I'm able to tap it. Here's our 716 20 tap. I'm just gonna slowly go about it and start tapping it. All right, look at that, guys. Our hole is now perfectly threaded to 716.24 or 716.20. Let's see if this works. Beautiful. So the one thing is it's a little bit loose and normally I wouldn't do this. AN fittings, normally you don't ever screw right into a thread like this because they don't seal correctly because it's a straight thread. Um, you can get AN fittings that convert to another size which actually uses an O-ring. Um, but what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna throw some uh, black RTV on here and it should seal up just fine. But look at that thread, guys. That's nice. All right, so here's my uh, black RTV. 
I'm just going to uh, pour some on the threads here. I like to just uh, get some of these tweezers that I have and just kind of rub it all over. You especially want to get the top threads because that's where it's going to seal. All right. That's nice and RTV'd. And so the thing about this thing is it's going to have to sit like this way. It's going to have to sit this way because the oil tank, I mean the oil pan is right there if it's sitting like that. So we're just going to get it snug and then turn it to where... Okay, yeah, that should be, that should be perfect. I'm just going to let it sit and dry for a little while and then I'm going to put it back on the truck. All right, guys, so you see the space right here with two holes? This is where that oil block off plate is. So right above your oil filter, there's this little plate right here. So that's what I'm using for my high pressure feed for my turbos. So I'm pretty sure every LS oil pan has one of these. Uh, double check to see if your guys does. I know my truck pans did. Some of them are already tapped for some fitting that goes to the oil cooler. If your car has an oil cooler, it'll have that. But most of them are blocked off. All you have to do is drill them out and tap them like I did and you have yourself a nice little high pressure system. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing back bolted on and we'll go from there. Okay, so that was really easy as you can see. It's a lot better than doing like a uh, oil sandwich plate. Those are kind of expensive. It's a lot better than drilling the block out to have a high pressure feed. If you have turbos on your LS, this is probably the best way to get high oil pressure for them. So yeah guys, if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you at all, if you found it interesting, go ahead and leave me a like. Comment down below if you have any questions and I will see you guys in the next video. Later. The Glock in my Robin, 17 shots, no 38, yeah, I got the Glock in my Robin.